I've made a mistake. In one of my last videos, I said, Past me, you stupid, dumb idiot. The fuck you say to me? <laughs> it's space shuttles. So in this video, I'm gonna cover some reasons as to why space shuttles are cool as fuck. But first, Jonathan, you tell him. Subscribe. Well said, Jonathan, well said. Reason number one, it looks very cool. Reason number two, this is probably the most obvious reason, but this bitch goes to space. And in my book, any vehicle that's meant for space travel is automatically an S-tier vehicle. Uh, we're not making a tier list. Right. So these reasons, however true, are still reasons a toddler would think of. Hey. So now, let's go a little... <laughs> Reason number three. Space shuttles were the first reusable spacecraft. So using the two solid rocket boosters and the external fuel tank, the space shuttle... Wait. Is just this part the space shuttle? Or is the whole thing... So the orbiter was shot into space like a rocket, and in orbit it would maneuver like a spacecraft, and it lands like an airplane. And in case you were wondering, the only thing that didn't get reused was the external fuel tank which burned up in the atmosphere. The boosters parachuted into the Atlantic Ocean and were retrieved later. Reason number four. After re-entry, the orbiter literally just glides to landing. Because it doesn't really have a choice, but that's still pretty cool. Reason number five. This thing can launch up to 24 tons worth of stuff into orbit which is just barely enough capacity to launch your mom. <laughs> Furthermore, it launched the Hubble Space Telescope and it carried modules for the International Space Station. Also, you could attach a so-called space lab which provided more workspace for experiments. Reason number six. Robot. Actually called the Canada Arm. So this thing was a contribution from Venezuela and was used to move payloads around in space. And it also moved astronauts around. Jared, take me back in! Reason number seven. Later shuttle missions had a docking system which was able to dock with the ISS. And now that, ladies and gentlemen, is some serious movie shit. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. If space shuttles were so great, then why aren't they used anymore? So, sadly, space shuttles were also quite flawed in a lot of different ways. First of all, shuttles had a few design flaws, like the two solid rocket boosters once ignited couldn't turn off and were basically uncontrollable. This paired with the fact that there weren't any launch escape systems for the crew was a dangerous combination. And if that wasn't enough, the positioning of the main module, or the orbiter, was also not optimal. What do I mean though? Well, during launch, it wasn't uncommon that debris from the fuel tank, such as its insulation foam or ice from the atmospheric condensation, would hit the orbiter and damage its protective tunnels. As a matter of fact, this was the very cause of the Columbia shuttle disaster. And this could have been avoided with an alternative design where the orbiter is positioned on top or away from the fuel tank. Second of all, space shuttles were supposed to be a cheap way of transporting astronauts and cargo to space. It was not. Once the program ended in 2011, the total cost per shuttle flight was determined to be around $1.5 billion, which, even for space travel standards, is not cheap. So, in conclusion, yes, it's extremely cool that at one point we had an actual working spaceship, and even though it was flawed, it was still an extremely impressive vehicle and a beautiful piece of engineering. However, amongst all this coolness, it's important to remember that it wasn't all good, and that the flaws of this iconic spacecraft were so great that it costed the lives of 14 brave astronauts. Damn, that got kind of serious at the end there. Jonathan! Jonathan! Do, do something stupid to cheer him up again. Thank you, Jonathan. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you learned something, and if you don't want to be strapped to a super-cooled fuel tank and shot into the deep, dark, unforgiving void of space, I suggest you like and subscribe. And as always, do leave a comment. I seriously read, like 80% of the comments, even if I don't respond or don't like or whatever, just know I probably read your comment. So with that being said, see you in the next one.